Man, Dusty looks so dang good, bro. With all the dents removed on her, bro, she looks like a totally different car. Well, not totally different. She just looks much, much cleaner than what she used to look like, bro. It's so fire. But she is really dirty. And in today's video, man, I'm gonna have to clean her up. Here is Poppin' Playboys. Welcome back to another video, man. In today's video, we're gonna be trying out Dr. Color Chip. Dr. Color Chip is, this is not a paid sponsorship or a sponsorship video. They didn't send this kit out to me. I just been looking for stuff to fix up all the paint chips that I got on Dusty. And this kit, from what I've seen on videos and reviews, this kit is pretty good. Now to use the kit, your car has to be clean. And as you guys can see, Dusty is not clean. I haven't washed this car in probably two, three weeks now because this has been raining. It's no point to wash your car and it's gonna rain the next day. But in today's video, I have to wash Dusty. So yeah, let's get Dusty looking clean. Let's touch a little stuff like that. And uh, anything else that catches my eye. So Dusty is gonna be clean right about now. And just like that, you guys, Dusty is clean. And uh, now I get to show you guys all the paint uh, chips that's, you know, that's on Dusty. The paint chips that you guys never get to see on camera because I don't get that close to Dusty. But yeah, here we go. So the whole front hood has, uh, I'm not going to say too bad of paint chips, but they do have, it does have paint chips. Uh, my front, brump, front bumper right here, uh, my lip from just driving through stuff like rain and you know highway stuff um fender of course this is the one that bugs me the most because it's the biggest uh this one here um small one right there small one right there uh one of my oh actually that wasn't even a what is this can this come off probably some polish to take that off um my roof like, I guess the person who owned this car before me had a, a bike rack or I don't know, something that was scratching the car. So hopefully I can get these out because these bug me the most. I want to get the ones on the side of the door out. Um, Yeah, everything that's on the side of the door. Even those that's already supposed to be filled in. But my painter, the painter I had, he put in like a different paint. So it doesn't really match the car, but... From afar, you can't really notice it, and people don't really notice it in person either. Um, right here, uh, let's see where else, where else, where else? It's probably some down missing, but it's definitely all over the car. Got one right here on this fender. I don't know if you guys can see that, yeah. Um, one right here, where is it? Right here is pretty bad. And a couple, couple on the back doors, like one right here, and I think there's another one somewhere around this area. Also, I got some in the back where the emblem used to be. So this one right here, that one right there, that one right there. And this one right here. Yep. Oh, this one too. Yep. So let's get this started. I'm going to explain to you guys how you do this. From the videos that I watch, it's an easy process. Uh, you just have to make sure your car is clean. If your car wasn't clean, then I heard like the paint doesn't stick as well. Something, something like that. But... Yeah, it's not really it's not really hard. It's just really time consuming because you do have to wait for the paint to dry. And uh yeah, bro. I'm just gonna show you guys. It's it's really easy. And I heard you get really, really good results. And that's what I'm aiming for today. So yeah, man, let's get it. Alright guys, so dang, I don't got nowhere to sit. Ah, I just crouch. Alright guys, so um I'm gonna show you guys what comes in the kit. So I should put this on the clean table, huh? Be right back. All right, so what comes in it is a rag. So I think it's the rag you're gonna use to like buff it off, like the paint or something. Um, that's a big old B. Um, this is this is the paint itself, the paint and the thing that you're gonna use to rub off the excess paint. I don't really know what it's called. It's called bending. It's said bending. It's called uh, blending solution, I guess. Uh, I'm trying to see the name of it. I don't really know. It comes with three like applying tools you can use gloves so your hands don't get dirty and i'm guessing this is a, a squeegee and then it comes with tubes that you could like insert the paint in and drop it inside that spot you're trying to fill up uh, i don't know if i'm gonna be using it i probably should i'm gonna give it a shot so yeah um yeah that's pretty pretty much it all right so i don't really have a way i'm gonna go around this um i'm guessing i'm just gonna get my application tool I'm gonna use uh, probably use this the green one to see how it does and uh, 
just gonna dip it inside, get some paint on it. This is probably too small. Yeah, it's just too small. All right, so let's try this again. Um, now I'm using something else. So I'm just gonna apply it over it like that. And then they said you supposed to rub it in. Then you let that dry for two minutes, and then you go back over it with the the blending solution. This right here. Put some on a napkin. I, I'll just show you guys, man. All right, guys. So now we're gonna put the pink solution. That's what I'm gonna call it. Put the pink solution on the on the white towel that they gave you. I don't really know what it's called, so I'm gonna call it towel And I'm uh, not gonna put too much. Put a little bit. That should be good. And they say you just gently massage it. And the blue should be coming off. And then you wipe off the excess. Oh wow, that's actually not that bad. So, uh, it's not that bad. I'm just gonna do another, another coat of it. We should be we should be getting somewhere Put a little bit more and I let that dry and uh, basically that's what you're doing for all of your paint chips hopefully this turns out well because uh, it is kind of messy job, no lie. All right, guys, so can you see the paint chip? Probably not, but it's right there. Um, I tried my best to get it out. This is the best I could get it. Um, if it wasn't such a deep paint chip, it would look way better. But hey, man, I'll take that. Same thing with this. If this wasn't such a deep paint chip, if you focus on it, come on, focus. You guys can see, if that wasn't such a deep paint chip, It'll definitely take it out as well. But uh, I got a couple right here. So you guys could kind of see the same ones that I was talking about earlier. Come on, I can't even see it on the camera. There we go. That one right there. Um, That one right here. And there's another one up top. Those are like to the metal. So there's no primer. There's no nothing. Just bare metal. I try to cover it up. Obviously, uh, it's not going to be as good as it getting repainted. But... Hey man, at least it's not as noticeable because it was a rust spot before and now it's, now it's blue, so it's not that bad. Um, I did a little part of my hood, like all right here. I'm, I'm gonna see if I can put like a clip of it. All right here was white. Well, not too white, but like you could see that was a lot of paint chips. Now you can barely see it. And I only did one pass of the paint, so I'm gonna do some more passes, like all right here, and uh, see if I can get this all looking blue. So hopefully you guys can see the difference from this clip and the last clip, like wow, bro. That's really freaking cool. This looks amazing. I mean, obviously you still can see the paint. Well, not the paint, but obviously you can still see the paint chips. Not too much, but literally that was my first coat. So I'm gonna do a second pass. And yeah, man, you can't, like, you literally, yo, like, I can't even speak English right now. You cannot see this from afar. Like, you literally can't see them. That's crazy. So there goes the second pass. And yeah, man, I'm, I'm satisfied. This looks amazing. This is really, really nice. Damn, this is really nice. All right, guys, so we're gonna do the front of the car. Um, that part of the car is done. This is like what I did right here. So I'm trying to get this to look like that, like over here, as you guys can see. And some of them are not gonna be able to look like that because some of them are just like straight to the metal. There's no, there's no primer, there's no paint, there's nothing, it's just bare metal. So um, yeah, hopefully I could work my magic and get some of these things out to make it look at least at least better five minutes later that is crazy that is crazy that looks so damn good all right so i did about here to there so now i'm gonna do from here to here i did this it's still showable because that's metal um yeah but everything else that's like literally rock chips are not that bad bro it's not that bad dang bro this kit is kind of fire this kid is really fire. All right, so let me hit that again. 
and uh, stop focusing on my finger. Let me hit that again. And also this one, I didn't even do it. And let's see, oh damn, and this one too. Damn, I had a lot. All right guys, so I can't really show you guys the results of everything. I pretty much finished up everything. Um, I did start a rush because as you guys can see, it's getting dark. Well, the camera doesn't show that, but in real life it is getting pretty dark. Um, pretty much got all the paint chips that was on the car covered at least. Um, some of them I can't even see where they're at anymore, which is surprising because I didn't think the kid was going to be that well doing it. Some kids I do have to go back over and just make sure um, I applied enough paint. But yeah, man, I'm going to show you guys the results of everything tomorrow morning when the sun is out. Hopefully it isn't raining. If it is, then I'll probably do it later, later in the day. But yeah, bro. It's, it's coming out good. It's coming out real good, especially the hood. The hood is the most like the most surprising thing I did today. I didn't think it was going to come out that well. And then my front bumper too. I had a couple paint chips right here. Uh, I got to do my lip because I got one right there. But yeah, my bumper was the one that had a couple of paint chips. I had like a big one right here, like two big ones right here, and it's gone, which is, which is surprising. But yeah, man, it's pretty, pretty damn cool. I didn't think the kit was going to snap like that. I got one right here that I just, wait, is that even then? No, that's just, that's just sweat. But yeah, even my door jams, my door itself, like, it's just nice. And then my gas cap, I had a pretty nasty paint chip. I don't know, like, I, you know, sometimes Honda paint is not the best paint. And it started to peel there, so I just, you know, put it some touch up. I just put some touch up paint there, just to cover it. I'm gonna let it dry to see how like it smooths out. But uh, it's definitely better than having it just look white there. At least it looks blue, so now you can't really see it, which is what I really wanted. But uh, yeah, even the trunk, the trunk looks good too. But you guys can't really see it because it's dark. But yeah, man, uh, on to tomorrow. Let's get it. All right, guys. So day number two. This part of the video, I just want to show you guys the paint chips, show you guys the results of what I did. And uh, yeah, basically show you dusting in general, because in this past, what, couple, not even a couple weeks, past week, um, I fixed a lot of things, not a lot of things, but I fixed a lot of stuff that bothered me, and a lot of stuff that I always noticed on Dusty. So, I'm gonna go over it, go, I'm gonna go over it, I'm gonna go over it, I can't even say that, I'm gonna go over it with you guys again. So yeah, man, let's get it going. So if you guys remember in the beginning of the video, I was talking about all those paint chips that was on top of the hood, like the like front of the hood. And uh, as you guys can see, not that many, not that many chips anymore. It looks really, really good. Obviously, the ones that are deep like that one are not going to be, you know, filled in all the way because that's bare metal that is touching right now. But at least it's not as noticeable as it was before. Because before you was able to walk up to Dusty and literally see all the white chips in the paint. Now, you could barely even see them. Which is what I really wanted. Next is the bumper. The front bumper had chips like right here. Like white big old chips. Now, nothing. I think I have a clip of that too. I'm going to put the clip right here if you guys can see it. But yeah, man, look at that. Look at the difference. That's crazy. Can't even see where the chips are. And then the lip had a couple chips, like one right there. Can't even really see it. It's not the. It's not even the one I'm aiming at. It's this one. Focus. Yeah, you guys can't see it. But yeah, the lip has some chips too that I fixed. Look at that. Fire. You can see the small little. Oh wait, that's a bug. That's not even a paint chip. Oh my gosh. All right, there goes the paint chip. If it focus, focus on it. Come on, come on, camera. Come on. Focus right there. Well, you guys can't see it, but it's there. And it's barely even noticeable, exactly how I want it. Um, I do have small other paint chips that I need to go touch up on, like the driver's side, uh, driver's side rear passenger, driver's side rear passenger, driver's side passenger, driver's side back door. Bro, I'm going through it today. I have a couple ones that I need to touch up, like right there. Um, some right here, you know, it's nothing too noticeable. Like you can't even see it. Like I barely even found them. I found them on accident when I was wiping down the car. But uh, yeah, remember I'll talk about my trunk. That looks pretty nice. That be that one right there. If you focus on it, come on camera. It's not doing me no justice today. But yeah, that one right there, it was noticeable from afar. It's still noticeable, but it's not that bad, which is what I wanted. But um, 
yeah man i touched up a lot of things on dusty and uh i'm happy I'm, I'm actually really happy on how she's turning out now i'm just gonna try to keep her this clean i'm not gonna go crazy fast on highways no more i'm gonna chill on those pool videos that you guys be sending me do because i feel like i got all my chips for me just doing pools but yeah man i'm happy bro she's getting there dusty's slowly but surely getting there Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video, man. I got some big things planned for Dusty, man. And you guys, y'all not ready for it. Just put it like that. But yeah, man, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Go check out my website, www.zuviopiro.bigcartel.com. I'll leave the link in the description in case you guys want to go cop some merch, support the channel, buy something, bro. It helps a lot. But yeah, man, your boy's out. Peace.